Alright guys, how's it going? Uh, this is Mike Davies and I am recording a uh, tournament match at my local league uh, between two pretty good players. Uh, we have Mindy on the left and Miguel on the right. And Miguel is showing a mulligan um, as Mindy sets up her field. Um, laying down her prizes, has her uh, active Pokemon, and marks that she's going to draw for that mulligan later. Now Miguel's going to shuffle up here, and I, I could see a Thunderous, and I, I saw that blend energy before. So he could be playing something like Plasma. Uh, Aromatisse has been very popular lately. And um, so he's going to uh, draw out his seven cards and uh, fix that deck. And I'll see what he gets. I see a Max Potion, Rainbows. Um, so yeah, that tells me pretty much he's definitely playing uh, an Aromatisse variant uh, of Plasma. Um, Mindy's waiting patiently. Has uh, that two marked on her uh, deck to declare that she's going to take a second mulligan um, as when the game starts. So now Miguel is uh, uh, really shuffling, making sure his deck is really randomized. Um, wants to make sure he gets a basic now because uh, when you get to draw those extra cards, it can be pretty devastating. Uh, yep, so we see uh, there's the Thunderous, and he plays down the Victini he drew into also. He's carrying the Tour Romatisse in his hand as well. Um, and he puts down his prizes. Mindy's going to draw um, her two for mulligans. And they're going to go ahead and start the turn. Mindy is going first. I see uh, Mindy has uh, Enhanced Hammer, which could prove very problematic. Um, she's going to attach to the Dark Ray right away. And N. Now, I saw she had an Ultra Ball in there. Um, I couldn't see really the rest of her hand. Um, but I would have liked to see um, an Ultra Ball and get a Sableye out. Um, that way you can start hammering and recycling those hammers with Junk Hunt. Um, but both players are going to shuffle their hands in their deck, as N says. And they're going to draw the same amount of cards as they have prizes. And be at the beginning of the game, they're both going to draw uh, six cards. So they're going to cut each other's jet, uh, decks and... We're going to see uh, six cards from each player. Mindy's going to pick up her cards. We see a Dark Patch. Um, she's going to play down Evital. She's got a Random Receiver, Energy Switch. Um, nothing that's really going to do anything right now. So uh, she's going to pass. And Miguel plays down a Dark Rai. That's going to give him a uh, free retreat in this deck um, because of a Dark Cloak. Now, Miguel has a Rainbow. He's got to be careful where he plays it because he will have to take one damage, uh, one damage counter, at, to wherever he attaches it to. Um, he's gonna attach to Thunderous right now because uh, he doesn't really have any more options. I'm sure he just wants to get damage on the field. Um, you see, Mindy's playing uh, Dark Claw in her in her hand, uh, so she's probably not playing anything except for Dark Pokemon because Muscle Band is. Uh, just a better card overall. Now, uh, Miguel's uh, going to computer search. He's going to discard a rainbow in a blend, uh, the Psychic Fire Grass Dark, and search his deck a little bit, uh, find out what's there, what's not, um, pick out the card he needs, and he's going to show Pikachu. No, he's going to put it back. Now, with computer search, uh, you discard two cards, and you can pick any card from your deck. Um, that being said, you do not have to reveal it, and um, I think revealing it is a big misplay. It's uh, one of those smaller things. You don't want your opponent to know what's in your hand and what came from your deck, um, but he's going to choose to reveal it and then just get a uh, spritzy. Um, something that people would do would be to um, shuffle the card that you get into your deck. Um, he's going to uh, raid Knuckle, but then... We all remember that uh, Raid Knuckle can only attach to a benched Plasma Pokemon, so you can do 30 damage but not attach um, to do that little bit of energy acceleration. Uh, Mindy's going to get this uh, Sableye down, attach the Dark Claw, energy switch up to the Sableye, and I think we're going to see a random receiver here. 
uh, find out what she gets. Um, she gets a Juniper. Pretty good off a random receiver, especially with a hand with only two cards in it. Now, so she's going to shuffle up. Um, as random receiver lets you flip over cards until you get a supporter, and then shuffle the rest of the cards back in. Now she's going to Juniper here, uh, getting random an N and a Dark Patch. Now uh, we see that Miguel didn't play a supporter last turn. Um, that he could that could have been for many reasons, but I didn't see one in his hand, so it was very smart to just uh, play the Juniper. Um, and she's going to enhance hammer that energy away, play down another Sableye. I think Sableye is going to be very important in this matchup. She's going to attach an energy to the Evil Tall and then Junk Hunt. Smart play here is definitely getting an enhanced hammer, and she's going to get an energy to switch as well, um, probably to get a big Eva Tall off. Now, Miguel had a Chorus in his hand. He was saving it up. It actually uh, worked out well for him because shuffling your hand into your deck and then drawing the same number of bench Pokemon in play from both players, six cards isn't so bad at all. Whereas in the first turn of the game, um, it wasn't pretty for Chorus. Now he's going to draw six. And let's see, he gets another energy. He attaches a Prism, um, which will work for any type of energy. And so he'll be able to raid and knuckle again here. The only, only downside is he doesn't have a plasma Pokemon on his bench, uh, so he'll only be doing 30 again. Now, uh, Mindy has that enhanced hammer, um, gets rid of that energy, and attaches to Evatol. She's going to start doing the Evatol math there uh, 20 plus 20 for each energy in play. Um, so she's looking at 80 damage with Evatol right now with a 2 energy, a Dark Claw, and the 20 that it starts with. She benches another Evatol, and she's got a Juniper, an Energy Switch, and another Energy, and another Sableye. I think, um, she hasn't played a Supporter. I would just go ahead and Juniper here. Um, you could Junk Hunt afterwards. I mean, Juniper, uh... I, none of the other cards are really worth it at this moment, but she's thinking about something. She's uh, really doing the math here, and she's thinking about energy switch, and uh, oh man, she's really thinking hard about it. Um, I don't really know what she would want to switch to at this moment, um, but she oh, she's going to put up a clean Sableye, play the energy switch making it a little bit harder for Miguel to KO the, the damage Sableye, and then Juniper. I don't know. That's a... Uh, huh. I mean, that could come back to be something pretty handy. Um, I don't think Miguel has anything to... He has no way to hit the bench right now unless he somehow gets a bunch of energy on Darkrai. Um, but that's going to be pretty neat. Uh, Mindy's going to Junk Hunt for a, an Enhanced Hammer and a Dark Patch, and she's got an Ultra Ball and a DCE. She's going to be able to do a lot next turn. Um, Miguel here is just going to end, so never mind. <laughs> they're both going to shuffle their hands in their decks. No one's taken a prize yet, so they're still going to be drawing six, prizes, or six cards each uh, as they both have six prizes. So both players are going to shuffle up their decks. Uh, this Evatol is starting to pose a pretty big threat. And, um, yeah, all right. So uh, she's going to shuffle up her deck pretty good. And they will both cut each other's decks. And we'll see what happens next. Uh, Miguel is going to go ahead and draw six. We'll see what uh, that end brings him. So I see something purple. Let's see what he's got. Um, and a tool scrapper. Uh, doesn't look like there's any energy, but he has like four in the discard now. Um, because Mindy's just been enhanced hammering over and over and over again. And yep, he just passes. Mindy draws into a dark patch, doing that math once again. So right now, without attaching in anything, she's doing 80. She's going to Dark Patch. That is 100. Uh, Miguel still has that one damage from the rainbow. And she's going to retreat. Oh, she has a DCE attached now. Uh, so she's looking at 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. Uh, so 150 altogether. Um, and energy switch, there's 170. Uh, she just barely hits it, 
Um, this I what I've noticed is uh, I think I've seen um, no lasers in Mindy's deck, but she's playing with uh, a lot of hammers. So it makes it a little bit more difficult. And then when she has that dark stadium, that stadium, uh, when it's played down, if you have a dark energy attached, you have no weakness. So we're going to see Miguel try and make a comeback here. Um, he's going to promote Victini. That's uh, probably just going to get wasted. <laughs> so uh, Miguel, he plays down a Sigilyph and an Evitol of his own. Uh, it's going to be really difficult for him to uh, get off the ground running here. Um, he's really just kind of got nothing. Um, in this best of three series, uh, one, mon one wonders if uh, maybe just scooping is the best uh, the best way to go about it. Um, he's really thinking hard. He does have energy in his hand. Um He's going to attach it to Victini, give it the one damage. I think you have to move it right. I mean, he could retreat into the Sigilyph and then uh, move the energy up to Sigilyph and then kind of wall from there. As Mindy doesn't have any energy on the Absol yet, it might be able to buy him a little bit of time. Um, but, you know, it's it just things really aren't working well. Um so it looks like another end comes into play. Um, Mindy's hand, which looked very strong, is becoming irrelevant. As she's only going to grab four cards now off this end. And Miguel will still grab six. Uh, so maybe if Miguel is lucky, he can uh, kind of stifle Mindy's uh, momentum. And uh, hopefully just get something started because it's not looking good. Uh, Mindy gets no supporter off the end. She's got an Ultra Ball, an Enhanced Hammer, and a Dark Patch, and a Max Potion. I mean, those are four pretty strong cards to have off the end, but you got to think that she would love to have a supporter right now, or an energy at least to uh, Junk Hunt. Now, um, now it looks like Miguel is going to get a Pikachu off of a Level Ball. Um, that Pikachu could really help as... Evitol is weak to lightning. Um, if if Pikachu is able to revolve into Raichu uh, for two colorless energy, it does an attack that does 20 for each of his bench Pokemon. So that's 100, and you double that par for Evitol's weakness, and then that is 200, knocking it out. Now, um, I think Miguel misplays here by just moving the energy off. He really should have promoted that uh, that Sigilyph with retreating. Um, but uh, Enhanced Hammer comes down, and Miguel is just stuck. He really needs a Raichu DCE here to kind of keep him in the game. Um, because he does play Double Colorless Energy. We saw it in the beginning. Um... And we're just going to see what's Mindy going to do. She got um, an energy switch, it looks like, off of the uh, off the draw. And she's going to energy switch down to Absol. A very smart play. Get ready for that Sigilyph. And, I mean, Victini EX only has 110 HP, so it's going to be very easy for her to knock it out. And she's going to do so uh, with an evil ball and get herself some uh, two nice shiny new cards. Um, Miguel looks to fill out his bench with Buffalant, uh, but I, I think it's just too little too late here. Um, as he, yep, he's just going to scoop. So that's the end of game one. We're going to move over to game two and see uh, what's happening over there. So game one goes to Mindy, and we'll get started on game two uh, very soon after both players uh, shuffle up. So I think one thing we saw from Mindy's deck is that she doesn't play Hypnotoxic Laser and she doesn't play for a big city gym, making it a little bit more harder for her to get to really get those one-hit knockouts on uh, big EX Pokemon. Um, and, and on Miguel's side, um, he doesn't know that she plays Shadow Circle yet, um, but he really needs to figure out a way how to get energy on the field and keep it on the field. Don't miss an energy attachment. I mean, that, that's easier said than done, obviously, but he, he's really got to stay on it. Um, he got to make sure he has a Plasma Pokemon on the bench so he can start attaching energies to it via Raid Knuckle. Um, so he'll, uh, and hopefully through doing that, he'll, he won't lose 
to just enhance hammer um whereas uh mindy she's just gonna explode she's going to go really fast and miguel needs to a more slow methodical pace um he needs time to set up and then from there he can start making some pretty big plays uh moving the energy around max potion um, but that's going to be hard with when Evitol EX is involved because obviously it is a big hitter and can really get those one-hit knockouts. And uh, I think both players are ready for game two, so let's head back down there and see what they got going. All right, so both players are going to cut each other's decks. Uh, Miguel lost game one, so he will get to choose to go first or second. Uh, most players are just going to choose to go first, so I assume that uh, he will do so also. Uh, Mindy shows a mulligan here. Uh, Max Potion, DCE, couple dark energies. And uh, Miguel gets his uh, active and a bench post po <laughs> benched Pokemon placed down. And um, he marks his deck uh, with a little die there to show that he's going to draw a mulligan when the game starts. So, uh, Miguel not benching Victini this time, as he knows uh, what she's playing now, and that will not be a good Pokemon to uh, have in play, because, um, well, it's an easy target, it's an easy two prizes. Now, Mindy does have a basic, she's got a couple Dark Rise, um, she has an Enhanced Hammer, Chorus, and uh, that could be tough. But she does have the enhanced hammer, so uh, Miguel's not going to like that. So he starts off with a thunderous Evitol. Pretty good start. He's going to get that Siglyph down, muscle band in play. And now let's see what he's going to do. Um, he's going to put another muscle band down. Maybe thinking about it. It's a little risky to do so early on. So unless he has a Juniper in hand, which he does... Um, so, you know, he had to, he had to get it in play. So he junipers away a Chorus. Um, I think that's another Juniper and a Victini. Yep, two Junipers, a Chorus and a Victini. And let's see what he got off it. He's going to really want an energy attachment, but, uh, he actually might want to hold on to that energy until next turn when he can actually attack. Uh, because if he attaches it now, then it's subject to enhanced hammer. Now he's gonna, wow, he's gonna computer search away two double colorless energy for Spritzy. Again, you can get any card from your deck with uh, computer search, so you do not have to reveal it. Um, just one of those minute details that will get you through a game. Um, it gives you gives your opponent a little less information about what's going on in your hand. Um, so he's going to attach a third DC to Siglyph as he just discarded two others uh, and then pass. Uh, so yep, there comes the Enhanced Hammer like I said. And she's going to attach Dark Energy and place another Dark Ground on the bench. Chorus for four. Um, respectable four. Uh, four, obviously, not the best number of cards you can get off a of chorus. Uh, in fact, the best number would be ten, but I like to think if your hand's bad, anything more than, I don't know, three is probably fine. <laughs> I mean, if it's really that bad, if she's really hurting, uh, these four cards just might save her. So there's three. Oh, she draws too many. Oh, gosh. Um, let's hope that it gets pointed out soon. Yeah, it looks like someone's saying something. Um, oh, she dropped a prize also. Um, uh, oh, yep, there she goes. Um, and she has the two. She reveals them and puts them back on her deck. Um, good sport. Uh, so we're just going to let that go, and she's going to pass. And Miguel draws a card. He's going to get a Prism Energy and then Skyla. Um, I would like to see him get a, a Plasma Pokemon in play. Maybe something that... Oop. <laughs> Maybe his hand's bad, too. He's Skyla's for a Juniper. Um, if you're Skyla'ing for a Juniper, you're in dire straits, my friend. That's... 
never where you want to be. You never want to be skyling for another supporter. Uh, but he is. And let's see. He's going to play a... He's going to play it down on Thunderous, which is great. Um, he can get that DC attached. That will leave him the option to maybe Thunderous Noise later down the line. Well, one hit knocking out a uh, Evital. Mindy rolls heads off the Crushing Hammer, discarding a Prism. Um, she got a Skyla of her own, uh, so she'll, we'll probably see a similar play as uh, Skyla for probably a Juniper. But uh, she's going to Skyla and do the old deck search, look through the whole thing, I hope. Very important, you got to figure out what's there and what's not. Uh, the more information you have on what is prized is the best. That is the best way to go do things. So, and she gets herself a Shauna. Um, she does have a DCE in hand, so she probably doesn't want to just uh, discard it. Um, so she go ahead and grabs a Shauna. So she's going to shuffle in her... Uh, Shuffle her deck, and where is she going to place that dark energy? Um, you could put it up top. Uh, she elects to put it to the bench. I think that's a pretty strong play uh, because that dark ray has already been taking damage. Um, it's damaged goods, and you really want a fresh one to be uh, where it's at with the energy, so to speak. Um, Miguel's gonna bench a Darkrai and a Juniper away a blend. So he's gonna get himself seven cards. And level ball. Uh, if he level ball, he's probably gonna get himself an Aromatisse, and there it is. Um, he's gonna shuffle his deck. Um, now with Aromatisse, he can move fairy energy willy nilly all over his board. Um, and that's why you play a prism and rainbow because they count as every energy all at once. Wow. Now <laughs> he's looking at this card here. Um, and it's a rainbow energy. It's an old one. Um, I, I actually noticed, um, he, I think he's got one, uh, he's got four different rainbow energy in the bet in the deck, which is, uh, it's fun. It's pretty funny. Um, he's going to raid a knuckle here. It's going to be another 50 to Darkrai. And he's going to be able to attach an energy from the discard uh, to the Thunderous on the bench. Now it's got a DCE and a Prism. Uh, Mindy here is going to attach a Dark Claw and then Shauna. Let's see what she gets off of it. Shauna lets you shuffle your hand in your deck and then you draw five cards. Uh, five cards? Eh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, kind of reminds me of the old Professor Oak's new theory. It used to let you draw six, but uh, drawing five is fine. It's not too bad. Now she's going to draw almost six again. Gosh. Uh, looks like nerves are getting to her. Um, but uh, she draws five, puts down an Absol, and attaches to Darkrai. Solid, solid. Now she has an option. She's just going to let that Dark Rai in the active um, potentially go down. Um, and Miguel's going to play another energy on to the Aromatis, another rainbow. Um, now he could take this, this Dark Rai knockout here if he retreats and then moves a rainbow up to the new Thunderous, uh, doing a Thunderous noise for 90. Um, but it just all depends on where he really wants to be here. Um, Sigalif, not very safe. Um, you know, because Absol is in play and his attack does 20 plus the number of bench Pokemon in your, on your opponent's side. So he would be doing 120 easily knocking out, um... Sigalith. Now he's going to move both of those energy over to Darkrai. I don't know if I like that. I like, uh, especially in this matchup, he's going to want to spread out his energy um, because Evital 
um, can well, <laughs> find those stacked Pokemon with a lot of energy and be able to get a one hit knockout. Um, and that will cripple uh, Miguel's deck. Um, he's got no way to accelerate energy other than um, Thunderous. So if you lose all your energy, that's bad. <laughs> that's uh, not where you want to be. You want to make sure that you um, keep your energy spread out. Um, so worst case scenario, you're losing one energy at a time as opposed to two or three or more. Uh, so you got to be careful when you go for big attacks with a high energy cost because you will leave yourself open to an Evatel EX coming in and wiping your energy off the board. Now he's going to fairy transfer that rainbow to the new Darkrai. Um, after retreating, he's just kind of, you know, it's an obvious play. So he's retreating the Thunderous and then fairy transferring the rainbow up to the Darkrai. He's going to knock out the Darkrai and then place 30 damage somewhere with the Night Spear attack. And he's going to put it on... Uh, little old Absol. I think that's a great play. Absol has 100 HP. Darkrai does 90 to the active, so if he needs to attack Absol, now he can get the knockout. Now, she's going to play a Tool Scrapper. Mindy gets rid of both those muscle plants and plays down the Shadow Circle. Uh, Miguel looks like he needs to read that card a little bit. Mindy plays Catcher, flips heads, Gets the Aromatisse uh, into the active, and that's going to be a minor setback. And, nope, he just takes it as she's going to knock it out, but uh, I think she's, yep, she just knocks it out, puts 30 on dark, right? Now, Miguel promotes that Sigilyph. Um, again, it's not going to do too much. Um, well, he's going to take back C's. And I think this out. Uh, I think that was a pretty rash move to just promote it willy-nilly. Uh, luckily, they're friends and have a little bit of leniency between them. Um, so he's going to draw a card, draws into a spritzy, and then places down a prism. Again, um, he may have want to shuffled that spritzy into his hand, placed it on the bench, give uh, Mindy a little bit less knowledge about what he's drawing into and what's in his hand. But... Small things. Now he's going to Skyla here. And he's going to look for something. Uh, let's see. I don't see anything in particular that he needs right away. Maybe he needs something to search out in Aromatisse for next turn. Maybe he needs another supporter. Um, maybe. Yeah, I'm just really not sure. Um. Let's see what he grabs. He's definitely doing a very thorough deck search, which I always approve of. I really like that a lot. Um, I love it when uh, players just, just kind of take in everything that they can and then assess what's in the prizes. Looks like he's going to Skyla for a uh, for a Super Rod. He's going to get two. He's going to get the Spritzy, the Aromatisse, and... Uh, the Victini. I'm sure that he doesn't really want the Victini back, but uh, he's going to get it anyways. <laughs> he's kind of forced to. As uh, Super Rod says, you have to take three of any basic energy or Pokemon. So he has to do as much as he can to use that card. If he has three, he has to get three. So there you go. Now, um, Mindy's going to check the discard of Miguel, which... Again, another move that I love. You always want to check your opponent's discard. You need to know what they've been playing. Start counting what they've been playing, because then you can start eliminating things that are left in their deck. Um, and start eliminating things that uh, that you know aren't going to come up later. Um, and then you could go, oh, my opponent's played you know, four Jupiter <laughs> Jupiters, Junipers, Professor Junipers. And then you will know that they don't have any more left so uh, Mindy is gonna play an N here um, that she top decked um, and it looks like Miguel will be drawing four Miguel, uh, Mindy will be drawing five um, 
So we'll see what happens here. I think Mindy really wants an enhanced hammer. Um, and maybe start getting some energy on that Eve. It's all EX on her bench. Now she's going to draw uh, five here. And she got a Mr. Mime. She plays Mr. Mime. Um, she actually might want to play it down with all that energy on Miguel's uh, Dark Rye, and she does. And then Dark Patches on the Evital on a Sableye correction. Um, she doesn't have to worry too much about Evital with the Shadow Circle in play. Uh, but she's going to Night Spear. Um, it's going to do 110 to the Active Thunderous, and she's going to put 30 on Spritzy. Now, Miguel uh, is looking through his hand. He's going to attach an energy to Evital of his own. And, oh, he's going to play Fairy Garden. That will give any Pokemon with a Fairy Energy attached free retreat. Uh, now he's going to play an N of his own, um, <laughs> giving himself a fancy four cards and Mindy five. Gee, guys, deja vu, am I right? <laughs> uh, Miguel's deck is looking pretty small right about now. Um, he's going to, uh, you know, that's that's usually good. You want to run through your deck a bit so you can start drawing in and stuff you need. Um, he really, really would like to have a spritzy here. Um, Mindy gets a pretty good five cards with that dowsing machine in Professor's Letter. Um, it looks like uh, Miguel's got to read his own card. <laughs> and he's going to retreat, it looks like. Now he's he's counting up his Darkrai. And he deems it safe. He's going to bring up Darkrai and start attacking with that. Um, oh, and he max potioned on that Spritzy. So there goes the damage there. It's safe for another turn. Um, he must. I think he did that before the end. Kind of missed it there. And okay. And no bench damage because Mr. Mime is in play and his ability blocks bench damage. Uh, any damage to the bench. Uh, unless it says play, you know. Play, yeah. Now, um, Mindy's doing the uh, some math here, checking her discard. Um, check your own discard too, guys, because knowing what you've played is just as important. Now, it looks like she's going to uh, dowsing for a Colorus. Uh, Colorus. Um, I really wish she would have professored letter there for a couple of darks instead of discarding one. Um, you know, getting two darks into the discard is better than one. And um, especially if she has dark patches still floating around in that deck there. So, little things like that, you guys. Got to pay attention to that. But she's going to draw herself a cool nine cards. Um, so, Miguel's going to cut the deck. She's going to deal three, six, nine feeling good you know anytime you get nine cards in your hand uh look out uh so she's got um you know doing a little counting going on um it looks like miguel pointed to the uh energy that she attached this turn um uh, she has a lot of energy in hand um, she could junk hunt this turn, and that might be what she wants to do. Um, she's looking at Catcher and Dark Patch. And yeah, she's going to retreat into a Sableye. Um, straighten things out a little bit as it gets messy. She gets Catcher and Dark Patch, and Miguel draws for his turn. Now, a thing here that I know is that uh, I haven't seen Miguel play Catcher. I know. I think I saw a Genesect. Um, I don't know if I've seen uh, Plasma Energy, but uh, he's gonna just fall victim to, you know, whatever Mindy wants him to knock out here. Um, 
he's just going to have to go, okay, well, I guess I'll take that one. But he's going to play a chorus of his own, looking for his own cool nine Pokemon. <laughs> Nine Pokemon. Nine cards off the shuffle draw. Yep, there's that Genesect that I was talking about. Um, and he's going to do a little small riffle shuffle. Um, he might not have much more than nine cards in the deck. Um, but he's going to get himself nine. There we go. Three, six, nine. And let's see. He's got a couple Ultra Balls. It looks like he's finally got the Aromatees. Um, and he's going to Ultra Ball. What's he going to get? Uh, oh, he had another, he got the Spritzy, so he's going to probably Ultra Ball for that Aromatease. Um, he's not going to get rid of the, the Raichu. He thinks it's going to be useful later. He can get rid of the Virizion, seeing as we're this much in the game too. Not a single laser. She's played not a Verbank gym, so he feels pretty confident getting, <laughs> about getting rid of Virizion. Now, uh, Romatis comes into play. He can start moving energy around those rainbows and prisms. Um, and he does have a lot in play, as Mindy hasn't been able to hit those enhanced hammers this game like she did in game one. Um, typically, if you're playing something with Sable and enhanced hammers, you're able to get that you know, first enhanced hammer off, and then you can start junking, junk hunting for it. It's going to feel good, and you're going to be able to just keep doing it over and over and over um miguel's uh, starting to count up um trying to figure out if his dark eyes vulnerable to uh evital ex next turn he knows that she has a dark patch and with uh i think she has 11 cards in her hand now because of the junk hunt um that it's safe to say she probably has an energy in her hand and maybe even a tool um I, if, if I were him, I would just assume she could do a, a DC, a Dark Patch, and a Dark Claw. So that would be 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 because the energy is attached, and then the 20 to start, so 120. Um, and then maybe she has energy switch also, and that would have knocked out a Star Cry. So now he's going to bring up Evital, and I think... Um, what I would want to do here is I would want to see, um, you could, you could do just an evil ball. Um, you could also do a Y cyclone. You could move that, that energy to, uh, Sigalif, but, uh, he just goes an evil balls here. Um, and she promotes dark rye. Um, and there's the DCE. As as uh, the viewers at home have seen, I did not see that energy switch, but she has it. Uh, I think she just drew into it. Um, she's going to catch her out the Dark Rye, hit heads. Oh, no, she's catching out Thunderous. Okay. Um, another pretty decent play would have been catching out the Aromatis, but, you know, whatever. Um, so she's not going to need a big Evital right now. As she only needs to do 60. <laughs> so she's going to Dark Patch to a new Evital. Get that guy ready. Man, oh man. And she's going to drop the energy switch. Um, so now I think we're going to see a retreat here. Um, and she promotes that one with the DZ attached and then plays N. Uh, it's going to get Miguel out of his big hand. She's going to be out of her big hand, but she's going to be drawing into five, which is not too bad. Um, Miguel, however, will be drawing three. So we'll see what happens here. I mean, that Thunderous is without a doubt getting knocked out. Uh, that's, what's just, that's just what's going to happen. Um, Mandy gets a Sableye, Dark Claw, Max Potion, another Evital, and an Energy Switch. Uh, she has a lot of options. Um, I don't know if you need Sableye here, but it could become in handy. I think you just play down the other Evital and just go for it. But she's going to play an Energy Switch. She's done using that Dark Rye. Except for she's going to Max Potion it. It's a fresh Dark Rye. Um... Now she's going to Evil Ball 
and knock out that thunderous ex now if miguel promotes this yep he does he sees it that thunderous noise is coming uh he's feeling quite noisy um but uh he's gonna max po level ball <laughs> I can only see a section of that card, uh, but he's going to look through his deck and just, you know, kind of check it out, see what's around, hanging about. Uh, it doesn't look like, uh, it doesn't look like, I don't think he'd grab anything with this level ball, uh, unless he plays a really thick line of Aromatis. Oh, however, he does play Pikachu and Raichu. Uh, so he's going to get himself a Pikachu, get ready for some pika P action. Uh, he's going to shuffle up now. Uh, that Pikachu, um, it could prove deadly for Evital as uh, that Raichu's attack can be pretty dangerous. Uh, it's called Circle Circuit, 20 times the amount of bench Pokemon that you possess. And then if you times that by Evital's weakness of 2, then you get 200 if your bench is full. Um, and it's only for 2 colorless energy, so Miguel could just drop a DC. He's got a lot of energy on the field. He can move around with Romatisse. He can get that knockout um, seemingly from nowhere. Um, but it looks like Miguel's thinking hard, and I think he's going to thunderous noise. He's going to count up that bench to Evital. Uh, I think he knows he's doomed after this attack. Uh, let's see what he's got here. Um, he's looking through Mindy's discard, counting up cards. Like I said before, it's always a good thing to do. You really need as much knowledge as you can get. And he's thinking really hard about it. <laughs> I love when you can see a player stress out a little bit. You can see the emotion in their hands. Like, um, he's got his head in his hand, his elbows are. He's going wild. Uh, but he's going to move some energy around, it looks like. He's going to move all three of these energies to Evital. Um, I don't like that at all. If she <laughs> hits a catcher, that's like. That's going to be huge giant ginormous huge uh we know she plays catcher uh but he's gonna thunderous noise get two prizes here she's gonna promote evital drop the sable i play catcher kiss the dice gets a heads and brings up that evil tall um you know that's a mistake my miguel is something you don't want to prematurely do like I said before, you want to spread the energy out. It needs uh, you need to you know just get it spread out because this is what happens. This is what I was saying before. You get captured and you get hurt. Um, she's gonna attach Evil Ball for like the obvious knockout, a thousand energy on that thing. Uh, he's gonna promote Pikachu willy nilly. Uh, Raichu, Romatis' ability, and <laughs> Circle Circuits for the knockout after he plays the Buffalo down because he needed a full bench. And Mindy looked pretty shocked there. Uh, looks like she forgot about Raichu. Um, so I think we're just going to move right into game three here. They're going to shuffle up a little bit. Welcome to the Time Warp. Uh, let's see. So they've shuffled up. They're setting out their stuff. Time is a factor now. Uh, Mindy is elected to go first. She's going to attach very quickly. Um, and then Ultra Ball. Um, and she's going to get rid of DC and a Max Potion. Now she's going to get herself an Evil Tall um, with these 50 minute time limit games. Um, there, there is a time issue. Um, she's going to play down a Juniper and get herself seven cards. Um, so you know, Miguel's going to check her discard just to make sure he knows what she got rid of. Um, she gets herself um, you know, a couple dark patches that aren't going to help. Miguel quickly drops a rainbow energy and gives himself one damage and then <laughs> drops a big Juniper of his own. 
Um, and he's going to draw seven. And let's see what he can do from here. It doesn't look like he got much out of it. He can play down Buffalon. He can... It's it's really not looking too good. He's going to be able to raid Knuckle for 30, but it's not going to do him much. Um, you know, and he's going to pass. Uh, and that'll do third. Oh, not pass. He's going to attack. <laughs> he just had, like, this look on his face like I'm passing. Um, but, no, he obviously raid Knuckled, and she's going to... Minnie's going to play down a Shadow Circle. Um... She can catch her here, but it's not going to do her any good. Um, I can stop Miguel from attacking, but in, in the long run, she's probably going to want that catcher for something else a little bit more important than stalling for a turn. Um, drops the bike out of her hand on accidental. Um, yeah, I did say on on accidental. Uh, <laughs> she's going to dowsing machine for a energy switch. Um... Yeah, I think she meant to grab the Ultra Ball there, and Miguel just kind of lets it go. Um, and so she's going to search her deck. I think she just kind of wanted to uh, make sure that she could bike for enough stuff. Um, and then she's going to bike, and it really gets her in almost nothing. Um, she's gonna Juniper. She's really playing aggressive here. Um, trying to get herself, uh, in position for the time to win, to beat the clock, really. Um, if Miguel just benches a lot of stuff, uh, it's clearly gonna be a tie. Um, but at this point, she can still win. There's still time left. Now, uh,. Let's see, she's checking her discard. She's obviously going to junk hunt. Um, she's going to get an enhanced hammer and a casher. Um, pretty solid uh, junk hunt there. Miguel plays down another Thunderous. Um, like I said, if he just gets stuff on the bench, it's going to pretty much cement a tie. Um, I don't really think there's enough going on. Uh, but he is going to computer search um, <laughs> and it's another aromatis and another Raichu um, and Mindy's like what are you doing <laughs> but he has a super rod in his hand it's fine it's okie dokie he's gonna put both aromatis um, back in the deck uh, she really did look worried for him <laughs> She was legitimately concerned about her opponent doing something weird. Uh, but he knew what he was doing. Um, and he is going to Juniper away. Two energy, a blend, and a DCE. Uh, and get himself some new cards here. Um, he's got a lot of full fancy energy uh, that can get him pretty far. Uh, he plays down a Spritzy as well off the level ball now he's gonna shuffle up his deck and make sure that uh, that juniper pile makes its way to the discard um, he's gonna attach a prism energy um, and then probably just raid and knuckle for another 30 falling a little oh in the muscle band is played he's gonna be able to knock out that stable take the first prize of the game but can he take five more after that before time runs out? And that's the real question. Um, he's going to raid Knuckle, though, after playing a Fairy Garden. Uh, but there goes the Rainbow Energy onto his bench from the discard. He's going to take a prize. Uh, Well-deserved. Uh, Mindy promotes the Evital. That could uh, be pretty painful if uh, things don't go her way. But she's going to enhance Hammer, followed by a Crushing Hammer, kiss the dice, and discards both of Miguel's energy off the field. Uh, attaches a Dark. Um, dark patches on a Dark Rye. A lot of Dark things going on. She's going to energy switch that Dark energy up top. Drop down a Dark Rye and an Evitol. Kiss the catcher, heads on Spritzy, and she, Miguel just, uh, 
he actually realizes that he resists, uh, I think, and just and doesn't, uh, you know, just send off that spritzy. Um, and then he points uh, to the card, I think, because um, he does have resistance. Uh, she shows him the the prize that she saw. Um, but yeah, she did. She did forget about that. Uh, that pesky fairy resistance. Uh, how it resists dark Pokemon. Um, I think everyone's just still getting a little bit used to the new type. Uh, but yeah, that that really saved Miguel there. But uh, and it really slowed down Mindy. But I don't know how we can kind of come back from it. He evolves into a Romatis, um, and attaches a rainbow. I would have attached that to Buffalant, moved it up, used it to retreat into a, um, into a Thunderous, and then move it back to Thunderous, but that's just me. Uh, he's, you know, <laughs> the less damage on a Romatis, the better, you know what I mean? Uh, he's getting prepped for a Raid Knuckle, um, just not, you know, not a lot of things are happening right now. He has another muscle band. Uh, that means he's going to be able to do a hundred to this Evital EX. Uh, Mindy preps her dice for the attack. Uh, Miguel gets a rainbow energy out of the discard for Raiden Knuckles' attack to move an energy from the discard to a plasma Pokemon on the bench, being the other Thunders. And it looks like uh, that was turn zero, and turn one has just started with Mindy. So Mindy is going to uh, attach a DCE to Evital. Um... And, you know, that's pretty unfortunate that, you know, I neither one of them is going to be able to take enough prizes uh, in, in the time here. But they're going to play it out. Uh, spirit of the game, sportsmanship and all that jazz. Very important. Um, but uh, Mindy's going to shuffle up for the Shauna, draw herself five more cards. Uh, see if she can finagle some... Uh, some 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 magic uh maybe she can surprise the whole world and take five prizes in two turns i don't know it could happen uh <laughs> it's not very likely though um she's gonna switch in a darker eye and pass and that will be turn two for miguel here um all he has to do is not scoop and <laughs> Uh, but he's placed down an Evital EX. Uh, he's going to think about what he does. He's going to play out this game. Um, and attach DC. Nope. Take take backsies. He doesn't want to do that. Um, I, I like to think that if you're going to sh- if you're going to almost play a card, uh, don't show your opponent what it is or where it's going uh, because you want it to be uh, you know, you don't want him to know anything, but, uh, he, uh, Miguel's going to raid Knuckle, put another energy on the bench, uh, Thunderous, and 50 damage on that Darkrai, um, Mindy is on turn three, she can't take five prizes in one turn, um, so if she just passes, that's the game, um, I think they're discussing a, uh, <laughs> a way out of this tie but uh that's the game uh it ends up in a tie not how you want to see a game end but uh that's how it ended so um you know a great game between those two players i think it was fun to watch and uh i hope you guys at home enjoyed it too and uh if you were unaware this is my audition video for um play Pokemon to be a Pokemon event commentator. I want to be a commentator. Um, so if I, you know, I want to commentate nationals and worlds, I'm very excited about it. Um, this is something I've, I've wanted since, uh, the first time I saw it happen in 2012. Uh, where, <laughs> so 
please, please get this video out there. Uh, show your support for me and let uh, Pokemon know that you want me to lead the commentary team. Uh, you guys want to see Fizz Stardust. That's my handle. Or you can call me Mike Davies. That's uh, the name my mom and my gave me. So uh, I hope you guys you leave a like, you share this video, um, you reblog it on Tumblr, and you, s you just pass it around. Show it to everyone. Thank you so much, guys, for your time. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a long one. Thanks for sticking with me. All right. Thank you. Bye, guys.